What's up YouTube? This is Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. You guys are constantly asking what I do for a living, wondering what I do for work, and what my daily life is like. So today, this is day in the life of Chad with Living the Van Life. Well the typical morning starts out right here at the jet boil by making a hot fresh cup of tea. It's become my morning ritual ever since I got my jet boil from Ann in a van. Thanks babe, appreciate it. Yesterday the store was out of my supply of my favorite mint licorice tea so I just make my own by combining a licorice root and a peppermint tea. <laughs> That'll make for a nice strong cup of tea. Hey Siri, set timer for 15 minutes. Okay, your timer is set for 15 minutes. Nice. I don't know how that's going to turn out but we're going to find out. So while the tea's brewing, I straighten up the van, I get dressed and get ready to hit the road. Okay, last night's camping spot was downtown. Let's go check that out. There we go, guys. This was last night's camping spot, downtown Bellingham. A Little bit of an urban stealth camping situation. I like to hide out right here in plain sight. It's the best way to go. So typically here in the morning, I like to make a hot pot of oatmeal right here on the jet boil in the van. This morning I had a little bit of a craving for a bagel from the bagelry in downtown Bellingham. Awesome. Favorite bagel at the bagelry, a toasted everything bagel with extra cream cheese. Delicious. Mm. Next up for the day, it's shower time. For me, showers happen at truck stops. I do stay most of the time here in Bellingham, which is my hometown. So I do have lots of friends and family that do offer up showers. However, since I chose to live this way, I like to be self-sufficient, not rely on others for that kind of stuff. So I have found a lot of convenience in truck stops. They're clean, they're private, and most of all, they're convenient. So that works out for me. I know a lot of people out there do gym memberships and whatnot. That is also a viable option. Okay, so when it comes to showering in a truck stop, a lot of you guys might ask, well, how does that actually work? First off, you gotta find yourself a truck stop that actually offers showers. Beyond that, you go up to the counter, you tell them you want a shower, you pay for your shower, they give you towels, they give you soap, so you don't need to even worry about any of that, which is really great when it comes to living in a van, you don't wanna have to come back with a whole bunch of wet towels and worry about how you're gonna dry that out. They take care of all of that for you. For me, what I bring inside, I bring my bathroom essential kit, which has my shaver, my toothbrush, uh, anything that you're gonna need in a bathroom when you're showering. I bring the minimal amount of change of clothes. I bring a t-shirt, change of underwear, change of socks. That's it, nice and convenient. That part of the day is done, shower time over. Before we get on to the next step of the day, definitely need to make some more tea. I've been drinking a whole bunch of tea, especially because of the convenience right here with the jet boil. I have saved a ton of money on coffee just by making tea right here in the van. This is where we get into the meat and potatoes of what do I do for a living? What do I do for work? 
What do I do with myself on a daily basis? Oftentimes, you guys have seen appearances by Eldod here on the Living the Van Life channel. Whoa! It's gonna be a fucking blizzard, so I brought all the blizzard gear. Secondary hat. <laughs> A couple years ago, we started a channel together called Adventures Unknown, found right here on YouTube. Together, we also own a media production company called Emanate Films. With Emanate Films, we get to travel all around the world creating media content for companies like Triumph Motorcycles, Harley Davidson, and two years ago, we actually started our own feature length documentary about motorcycle land speed racing. Now, these motorcycle race teams that we've been filming for the last two years are going for the the world's fastest motorcycle land speed record and they're approaching speeds of close to 400 miles an hour. This story has taken us to the Bonneville Salt Flats here in the USA, it's taken us to the Salt Flats of Bolivia, and it's also taken us to the Salt Flats of Lake Gardner down in Australia. So with this film, it's been an amazing experience of traveling all over the world. Over those two years, we've captured about 60 terabytes of red cinema camera footage, and now we spend our days sifting through that footage putting the story together, going through all the interviews, through all the dialogue, and gathering it all together. Andrew is another producer here on the film, and he is actually with me in the edit studio on a daily basis, and him and I are sifting through these hours and hours and hours of footage as we try to put together this story. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys into the edit studio and give you guys a behind the scene look of what Andy and I do on a daily basis. Now, for those of you guys that have been following the Live in the Van Life channel from the very beginning, know that the whole reason that I ever started living in my van was really to be able to chase these dreams of becoming a photographer, becoming a filmmaker. And over the years, with a lot of hard work and persistence and sacrifice, it has paid off. And now I get to do it for a living. I get to do it every day, creating and doing something that I love to do. So if you guys are interested in anything else that we do with Emanate Films, check out our channel here on YouTube, Emanate Films. In fact, check out the link right above here. If you guys are also interested in some of the other crazy things that Eldot and I get into with Adventures Unknown, then check out the link right above here as well. At this point, let's jump inside. We'll go meet Andrew. We'll check out the edit studio and a little bit of the behind the scenes of what we do here on a daily basis. Dude. What's up? Yeah, you're on camera. Uh, <laughs> Here we are in Editing Central. This is where we are editing our feature length documentary called Rockets and Titans. Right behind me over here, this is Andrew. Hey guys, how's it going? So Andrew is one of the producers here on the film. We've been working together for the last, what, four or five months in actually editing this thing right. together. It all happens right here in the edit room. This is where we bring the cinnamon, we put it together with the sugar, and we make cinnamon toast. <laughs> right? No, but honestly, like, here in the edit studio, this is where all of the magic happens. It's a very gratifying opportunity to be able to come in here and work with the material that we have shot over the last several years and put it together and actually see it come to fruition it all forms together into some sort of story all right here in the edit studio. So this is it right here. Well, there's a brief behind the scenes look of what it's like on a typical day inside the edit studio on Rockets and Titans. Usually work there until about 5.30 in the evening, but really that's when the work only begins because after a full day's worth of work on the film, then it's time to go to work on living the van life. Right now, YouTube is my only source of income. The whole entire reason I'm living in my van right now is so that I can focus all of my resources into getting this film across the finish line. And with this channel, I see the potential of what it could be on a full-time basis, so I'm pushing extra hard. When I get done in the edit studio and I go to the coffee shop, I work until it closes down, 
and then I go back to the van and I work until 1 or 2 in the morning or whenever my laptop battery dies, it's all worth it right now because it's going somewhere. Right now it's a lot of time, it's a lot of dedication, and it's a lot of extremely hard work. But you know what? That's what it takes to make these things happen. Of course it all ends up here in the van at the end of the night for one more last hot cup of tea before it's time to hit the hay and get another night's rest here in the van again. Since about January 9th I've dedicated seven days a week to working on the Live in the Van Life YouTube channel. I have been on a major mission to push this channel as far as I possibly can and from the beginning of November 2018, we've been able to take the Living the Van Life YouTube channel from 21,000 subscribers to past 50,000. And it's really shown me that there's light at the end of the tunnel of maybe perhaps this channel could be something bigger. Honestly, what really makes it pay off all the time that goes into these videos is when I post it live and I get to watch your guys' feedback and watch your guys' comments flow in it's a very gratifying experience so i want to thank you guys for being a part of this channel and making it everything that it possibly is i owe it all to you guys to even want to get up in the morning and keep doing this every single day so nonetheless guys do me a favor if you like this video then hit the like button leave your feedback leave your comments in the comment section down below if you're new to the channel, make sure and hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button because that's what's gonna notify you anytime these videos are uploaded. Guys, peace out, keep on trucking.